Hello there, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for clicking. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Lillian. Still on Mercy Johnson's case. Maybe for the last time or not. But, you know, I had thought that the first video I did, that was it. There was need for the second and then subsequently, the whole thing blew out to be something that we didn't expect. She, the whole matter took us to a different direction entirely, which we are grateful for and we thank God. Exactly. What, what exactly is going on with this Mercy Johnson's um, maternity issue? I just want to ask because um, many of us are a bit confused right now. Yeah, fine. There was this case of the Ghanaian woman claiming to be the biological mother of Mercy Johnson, which I think uh, could be a case of mistaken identity. We were still on that, trying to settle that matter to the glory of God. It, it was obvious that God just wanted to use Mercy Johnson as an instrument to reunite the woman with her own biological child or children. We were still on that. I think the very day we went to interview Mama, we went to hear from the horse's mouth directly. was the same day. We saw videos of other a woman, another woman, surfacing on the internet that she is the biological mother of Mercy, Johnson Okoje, the Nollywood actress. Is she the only actress in the world, I mean in Nigeria? We have been having people in the industry like um, Regina Asuka, the Rain, Sandra Ashum. We have a lot of people. We have um, who again? We have Chenevive Nachi. We have we have Omotola Jalade Kendi. We have a lot of them that have rain. We have people that rain during their era. They rain oh, not be say they're no blow. They blow finish. You see this blow that Messi Johnson blow. I don't think there's anybody I've mentioned here that that will be more popular among them than Genevieve Nachi. So why all this Why Nobody had ever come out to say I'm their mother or I'm their father. What is happening? Growing up in my village, please, before you insult, watch to the point of understanding, okay? And please make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed. And of course, like this video. We are not fighting, okay? Growing up as a kid in my village, I have seen where two men fought for the paternity of a child but i've never seen where one or two women i mean two or three women are fighting for the maternity of a child I mean, it's even hard for me i don't know if that word is correct <laughs> maternity of a child i have not seen or heard if you have seen or heard i beg they say we can't know everything and wonders not the end when does uh wonders shall never finish shall be wonders shall never end comment your wonder down there at the comment section let us hear let us learn from your own experience because this one is becoming unbecoming the cameronian woman is out here claiming to be the biological mother of mercy johnson fine the Ghanaian woman issue for now is sorted out maybe like i said god just wanted to use mercy johnson to reunite her with her own children which by the special grace of god almighty we are on it and god will do it and we all all of us will, will be happy that everything happened the way they happened but now what about this cameronian woman that claiming to be the biological mother of mercy what is going on and mercy is not addressing any of these things the mercy johnson okoji that i know of nollywood is that type is that type that would have you know by now should have come out and address issues and move on oh yes or oh, no Okay, you know when she was accused of being violent with her children's uh, teachers in school? She came out and debunk, debunk it. These days of social media, you don't even need to go to the media house. She came out and addressed it. These days of social media, you don't even need to step out of your room. You can stay in your room and address anything you want to address, and the whole world will receive it. And even uh, the media, the traditional media will pick it up from there and help you out, analyze and address for you and your fans and your haters. Everybody will be okay. But Messi is punishing us, so no problem. It's not affecting her bank account. It's not affecting her trips overseas. So it's not even affecting her husband's political career. Maybe this is why we are not hearing anything from her. But who am I to judge her? I'm going to get to that part where I think I'm confused by now. I can no longer vouch for Mercy Johnson like I have done in the case of the Ghanaian woman, where even before the Ghanaian woman opened up that she was not talking about Mercy Johnson Okoje, the actress. 
she was talking about her, her daughter, Mercy Johnson, who is missing. Yes, all right. I was vouching for Mercy. I said she's a Nigerian, 100%. I even they talk like say me and they were from the same village but okay maybe it's just um the little that i should do for my countryman because i feel like i know her maybe i'm wrong so it's not like i'm regretting 100 percent but i feel like by this time she should come out and clear the hair throw lights is this women why why are they dragging you what's going on and we you know what's going on why every market day someone will come out and say they are your mother put an end to this thing come out and address just say something it's not a shameful thing come out and address this matter is this woman your mother or not if she's not say it she, oh, i don't know these people i don't know why they are calling my name if she is oh okay uh, yes she is but i don't want to talk about it we will all back off <sighs> please there are so many lessons to be learned here. Mercy, the reason I kept her video coming before we even got to the truth, where the Ghanaian woman said she's not talking about Mercy Johnson. A lot of people, a lot of my viewers have said that Mercy had in the past said she's a Ghanaian. That is where you should learn a lesson from. If you know that anything you are going to say in the media is a joke, you are joking about it, don't say it, okay? Don't say it because people are going to use it against you. People are going to, any interview you grant, grant it honestly, that's honestly in terms of your own honesty, how you want people to take it. But don't come to them and say, oh, <laughs> I love Ghana because of that, I'm a Ghanaian. No, stand by your word. If you're a Ghanaian, don't say, oh, Nigeria, I like them, there are many. Because of that, I'm a Nigerian. No, you are going to confuse people because the little fame you have today, that small thing you're doing now and is growing, it has not blown, you know, to that. It has not skyrocketed to where the whole world will know you or the whole of Africa will know you or West Africa will know you. One day, that same, that same thing will grow. That same you will become so big and there are a lot of things you have done in the media that you wish you didn't do. Just like Yvonne Nelson. We are going to come to that our own. Okay? So let us be honest in our... Not... In this case, let us not play when you are, they are interviewing you. When the medias are interviewing you, even if it's your best friend that is interviewing you, even if it's your own YouTube video or Facebook video or Instagram video you are making, talking about yourself, and you know you are not, it's not a joke, you have made people believe in it, keep it going as it is. Don't joke. Okay, a lot of people said she have said in the past she's Ghanaian. Why is she denying? It's not good for your reputation. I know it's not affecting her bank account. It's not affecting her trips overseas. So it's not affecting her husband's political career. It doesn't move her. It doesn't stop anything. It's even making her more popular. But it's good to be, you know, learn from her mistake. Don't always say, oh, because I'm filming in Ghana. Okay. Um, also, yeah, every Nigerian, everybody knows that as a Nigerian, you tend to feel more at home in Ghana, outside Nigeria, than anywhere else in the world you will go. Even though we have our issues, Nigerians, Ghanaians have their issues, you tend to feel more at home in Ghana than even being a republic, being your immediate neighbor, or Cameroon being your immediate, your next door neighbor, your next country, your next border neighbor. You tend to feel more at home in Ghana than you would do anywhere else as a Nigerian, anywhere else in Africa. That is not something we can control. It's something that has been in existence, and we still don't have answers to it up until date. Some are claiming it's because of the English language we both speak. I don't still get it, but it's like that. So we have to live like that. But that's not enough reason for you to get to Ghana. It's okay, <laughs> I'm enjoying I'm a Ghanaian. Tomorrow you're causing confusion, okay? So learn from her mistake in that part. And another thing is, I feel like Mercy by now should have come out and cleared the hair. This Cameroonian woman, is she your mama or she's not? The Ghanaian woman now, we know. Thank you for you. God used you to put her story out there. And by the grace of God, the story got to the right place. And we are hopeful and we are believing God. But now, what of the Cameroon mama? Is she your mama or not, sis? Talk now. I know you don't have to 
come on my channel and, and reply. I've seen a lot of people here who knows Mercy Johnson that watch my videos. Mercy is human. She has regular people in her life. You know, she has a lot of people she's um, surrounded with, surrounded by or with. Okay, one of those two words. <laughs> These people give her information of things that happen outside here. These people tell her about my YouTube videos. These people tell her about your YouTube channel. These people tell her a lot of the things about her that she is not seeing, but they have seen. They do tell her because they have a good, like, she's a star, but she has people that are not stars, but people in her life regular people like you and I. So she can't say she have not seen all these things. She have. Me, I've seen people here on my channel fighting, holding my throat and dragging me because they're no mercy. And from all they have said, these are people that have her number. They can put a call through. So all these people, she can't say she have not, they have not told her. They have. They have told you that people are everywhere claiming to be your mom. Come out and address it, okay? Don't keep us in the dark. Yes, uh, yes, mind your business, I will. But I'm saying that she should do that. I'm not saying the Cameroonian woman is her mother or not. At this point, I can't be vouching again. I can't say, oh, I know this person. One too many, it's too much. Yes, the case of Ghanaian woman, uh, the case of Ghanaian woman, yes, you've been addressed. Thank you, Mercy, for using you. But then, what of this Cameroon mama? People are saying they look alike. The this, the that. People are saying she has evidence. So, so are we all going to fold our hands and sit down because it's Mercy Johnson, the actress, the powerful woman, the wife of a powerful uh, Nigerian politician, the superstar, the Nollywood, do something. If you have access to this woman, you have a, a place you can, you have a Facebook page, you have Instagram handle, you have a YouTube channel, you have a TV station, you have a website. Where, where you stream um, videos. Talk about this woman. Go to her and ask her. Find out. Give your take. Ask her. Call her for interviews. Ask her and find a way to reach out to Mercy. Do it. Me, this Cameroon own. I won't do it. Not because I hate Cameroons, Cameroonians. I love Cameroonians. I love a lot of Cameroonians. I love my Cameroonian princess, the princess of Cameroon. I'm able to come to Ghana today and live here and stay here. She played a very big role. I mean, the princess of Cameroon played a role. Do you get it? I love my Deli Bie. Um, my channel is where it is today. All thanks to Deli Bie, the Cameroonian. I've met a couple of them, Messi Dare. In fact, is it my half Cameroonian, half Nigerian uh, sister, Chichi Mamba? Her channel's name is Sort and Culture. I love all these people. These are all, some of them are half Cameroonian, half Nigerian. Some are full Cameroonian. And they are incredible people. You get it? But, this, because I don't live in Cameroon, I, I, don't, I can't be going everywhere and be shooking mouth for waiting not to consign me. My own is to advise, if you live in Cameroon or you know this woman or you are in Nigeria, like a lot of people are claiming that the woman is in Nigeria, do something. Don't watch. For, for us as content creators, it shouldn't just be about making the content. Eh, hey, waiting consign you. She consign you. You be human being, okay? It consign you. You get into trouble. You are trying to help. It's part of life, okay? But don't just sit down there and ignore that woman because already she said she don't have money for a DNA. We don't know if what she's saying is the truth and nobody is going to hold Mercy accountable. Nobody. Because, yeah, she will not do what she don't want to do. So the lessons in it here now, apart from the fact that as an upcoming celebrity, you should always be serious when they are granting you, when you are granting interview, be serious. Say your facts and don't joke about it. The second lesson is if you are a young mother, and you are married to a man or you have kids with a man who wants you out of his life and out of the child's life, it's okay to go out, out of the man's life. It's fine. Mm? No problem. That one is not, you know, especially to some of us, <laughs> it's like daily bread. Eh? <laughs> but make sure you are in the life of your kids or your child, no matter what, okay? I met a young lady in Asaba, Nigeria where i went to get some things uh, she attended to me she was really nice respectful she doesn't even look like someone that have kids and they got talking and then she said my sister is well -oh. me when my husband threw me out okay i became interested not because i'm a superwoman and i know how to help 
I can't even go close to that husband because he will beat me. He may even kill me. What is my business? Because I'm not related to her or I'm not someone he knows in their lives before now. So I was going to handle that with wisdom and said to me, the lady said, uh, and she continued her story. I have three children, oh, two girls and a little boy. That boy is two years old now. He has thrown me out of the house. He forced, he forced her out of their house, threw her out. He has married her. It's not like he didn't marry her. He married her. This is a lady he married. He married her, did every, all the rights. Then now he wants her out of their, their house. Okay, what about, she, she was like, what about my children? The man came out with a cutlass that he was going to behead her. If she ever mentioned those kids again, that any day he sees her near their house, he will kill her. Any day he hears that she has gone to the kid's school, he will kill her. She's stranded. She didn't know what to do. She was working at a boutique as a sales girl and was earning 15,000 naira a month. I don't know how much that is in dollars right now. So she is stranded and cannot go near the kids. A two years old boy is going to forget his mother very soon. And that man is looking to replace her. He will bring in another woman. And another woman is going to come and she don't, she don't even want to ask questions. Or she's going to she have a husband because... We, as young African females living in Africa, our minds and soul and body and our hearts have been trained to love nothing but husband, to be a wife. It's an achievement of every woman. So you would do anything to get it. So another woman is coming to replace her. Surely these kids will suffer, okay? Yes, stepmother. Surely these kids are going to go through some... Except if the woman is... Even makes it worse if the stepmother is good. But I prefer the stepmother to be good to them and help them forget their mother than to go through hell. They will still forget their mother. Do you get it? So now she have completely, the man successfully kept her out of the kid's life. They are going to grow up. So for you as a young mother, what you are supposed to do, don't sit down there and tell me he said he will kill you. Go to the government house, Okay. You see Lily Ogini, I will go to the embassy. I will go to the government house. I will remove my clothes. I will protest. Scream. The world will hear you. Look for a journalist. Look for a lawyer. You don't have money. Beg. Do something. Don't steal all because they will send you to prison. Do something. Talk to the community leaders. Go to his village. Get his family. Talk to them. Cry out loud. Speak. Let your voice be heard. Speak, scream, do whatever. Don't kiss somebody, don't steal, okay? Do everything legal. Go to your church. Don't say, okay, because he said he shouldn't, and uh, now you stay. Then many years, million years later, some of you, the men have successfully put fear in your hearts. Even when later in life, you still can't go close until they die. That's when you come and stand with a lace and be telling us, hey, my father is sick for Cameroon. My father can't say, ma, I come look after him for Cameroon. Hey, I can't come back from Cameroon. I can't come back. Sis, you don't have a story here. Stand your ground. Let him kill you. Let it be in the record that he killed you. All right? After killing you, guess what? He will go to prison. Yes, the police will arrest him. And you see when it comes to killing, I'm not saying you should go and die. But if you want to kill you, both of you will lose. Yeah, they will arrest him. Him too. You will not be part of those children. You will not be. You lose or lose. Don't go and fight him or go and tell the police, even if they don't listen to you. I know in some countries, especially where I come from, the police will never, you will never be right as a woman, especially when you don't have much. If you have your money, all these things, then burn the man, then burn him, then burn him, then not burn him if you have your money. But when you don't have anything, make sure you go to the church, use the church, talk to the pastor, talk to the priest, go to the village community leader, do something. Don't sit down. Okay, these are the lessons in it. I don't know if the Cameroonian woman is Mercy Johnson's biological mother or not, but whichever it is, be smart. Open your ear. I don't talk my own finish. All right, so for me, I'm signing out. And if you're a stepmother, let me warn you. Before I sign out, let me warn you. If you're a stepmother, you want to see, you want to make sure you, you want to make sure you want to replace the other woman. God says, I should tell you that thunder will fire you. I want to replace, if feel free, if you're a stepmother, feel free to replace the other woman in the man's life. But please, don't go there. 
don't replace the women in their in their kids' life. The judgment day, you will not escape it. They are your stepkids. Show them love. Show them love, massive love. Okay? But don't uh, like what I watch on a uh, bracket TV. <laughs> Break it. The child was saying, my mom here, calling the stepmother, my mom here, calling the mother, this woman, and you as a stepmother, you're sitting and you will go to hellfire. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.